Hello Chiefs Kingdom and welcome back to RGR Football and this week's episode of Kingdom Corner. I'm your host Thunder Dan aka Danilo DiGiulio. Look for me across social media under ThunderDan88. Uh, if you haven't become a subscriber go ahead and hit that subscription button down below. Hit the like button. Follow us and make sure you hit that notification bell so you get all the little notifications for new videos and stuff coming out. We're going into this week. This is the week before the Super Bowl or what has been for the last two years and hopefully will be going forward known as bye week for the Kansas City Chiefs as they go into their next Super Bowl, their second in two consecutive years. Uh, if my eyes look a little red, it's because I once again rewatched uh, the America's Game 2019 Kansas City Chiefs, which basically was uh, the better late than never team. You got the cardiac kids and greatest show on turf and all these things. Last year, the Chiefs were basically the better late than never team. They would fall behind and they would come back. It didn't matter the odds. Down as much as 24 to nothing in the uh, divisional game against the Houston Texans. And we all saw they scored 41 unanswered points, total of 51 points to come back and blow that game out. This team believes in themselves. They live in the moment. They don't worry about what might have been. Um, the show starts off. With and I suggest you should go back and rewatch it. I watched the mic'd up version of the Super Bowl after that as well. It's it's, it's touching stuff. Um, it starts off reminding us that in the 2018 season, we all know how that ended. That ended by six inches, maybe three inches of finger, two inches of finger, and uh, an offsides that took away an interception that could have led us to the Super Bowl. But if we'd gone to that Super Bowl and won, a lot of changes that happened wouldn't have happened. This team we see today wouldn't be the team we have right now. This team we have right now looks like it's built and reinforced and fortified for for a decade, at least. Uh, Spagnola might not have ever become our defensive coordinator, and he's made a big difference in this franchise, starting with toppling Tom Brady twice now um, since that loss. We're going to have to do it again. We're going to have to do it again in a week from, t from Sunday. The Super Bowl's coming up on February 7th. Tom Brady's now the quarterback of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, which really sounds weird coming out of my head, but it is what it is. He's there, and he's our last remaining obstacle. That team is our last remaining obstacle from going back-to-back. -back. We've run it back. We've done what we set out to do. The Stars lost one game this season. The last game of the season was a loss to the Chargers, but it was a huge win because a lot of backup players got a chance to get out there and shine and show what they could do and show, hey, I'm ready to contribute. That's why we're, once again, AFC Conference champions. Okay, but the work's not done. The work isn't done. The work starts with taking it one game at a time. The work starts with winning each quarter of the season. They break the season down into four quarters of four games. It's about winning those quarters, winning those season chunks, meaningful games in December. They've done all these things. They've met all these measurements, and yet still pundits come up with things like, and don't believe the hype, folks. They come up with things like, well, the Chiefs aren't really winning by enough, or the games are too close, or are they really what they used to be? Or the oh this guy's down and that guy's down, um, the 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 inter the, the turnover worthy plays turnover worthy plays they have a word for that it's called dropped passes two words dropped passes not interceptions a lot of quarterbacks hit guys in the chest and the guy doesn't catch the ball that's usually why they're playing DB they're fast they're athletic they don't have great hands and part of that is because things like the the fumble in the end zone against the Saints. It ends up being a ball skirted out of the back of the end zone and a two-point safety against us instead of a touchdown for the opposing team. Is teams are so tightly wound playing against the Chiefs. They're so worried about we need this, this play right here has to, it has to be this play right. They might, if we don't get this play right here, the Chiefs don't operate like that. Get this play right now. Focus on it. Didn't happen. Okay, next play. Let's go. Next down. Win the next down. All right, win the next down and win the next down. Teams playing the Chiefs are so worried about getting points and staying with them that sometimes they, they screw up because they're over-focused and over-concerned. Um, not over-focused, but over-concerned about that not doing anything wrong that they force themselves to do something wrong. And that's a huge advantage. That's a, We've seen that in the past. Teams playing against the 49ers in their heyday, against the Cowboys in their heyday, and against the Patriots in the last 20 years. A lot of simple moments that people would blow up and screw up and mess up and Peyton Manning used to be the guy that couldn't not throw a pick late in the game against the Patriots and couldn't get past Tom Brady until he finally did. This seems past him twice. Patrick Mahomes and Tom Brady are tied. Two wins and two losses each against each other head-to-head. -head. 
Tom Brady owns the uh, the tiebreaker, if you will, in that he's beaten us in the playoffs one time. Patrick Mahomes only lost in the playoffs. This coming week, I submit to you, will be when Patrick Mahomes ties it up. And he gets a win in the playoffs against Tom Brady on the biggest stage. The first ever home game for a Super Bowl franchise, for a Super Bowl team. We're playing Tampa Bay in Tampa Bay in a year in which it really doesn't matter. Because of everything we've been through, it really doesn't matter. It's just a game, a children's game, being played by adults in a stadium that's going to be sparsely filled because of a pandemic that's been oppressing the entire planet. We've all been through so much this year. Watch those America's Game films of the Chiefs last year and the, the mic'd up the Chiefs last year. Watch those and remember where you were in those moments. Okay, the last game the Chiefs lost before the Raiders game this season was against the Titans last season. I was at that football game. I remember coming home thinking, we had this game. This was ours. Patrick Mahomes threw for over 400 yards in his comeback from a knee injury. Don't forget, he had a knee injury, folks. Remember the Colts game and the Texans game? It looked awful. It looked rough. Our O-line looked terrible. Our O-line has never looked that bad this year, despite the fact Eric Fisher was the only con- consistent player on that O-line. The rest of it was patchwork. Guys coming in, guys coming out. Reader was in and out with Kilgore a couple times. The guards and tackle positions fluctuated. But know what that meant in the end? A lot of offensive linemen got meaningful reps. These guys are ready to go. These guys are ready to step in and take that next step, that next hurdle, that next moment of, this is my time to shine right now. This is the Super Bowl. All the world's eyes in football are upon us. So Mike Remmers is ready to go at left tackle. Andrew Wiley is ready to go at right tackle. Our guards, we got Wisniewski back. Wisniewski is so stoked to be part of this team again. He couldn't believe he tweeted out, I can't believe I'm going to another Super Bowl. All caps, 16 exclamation marks. The man is stoked. This offensive line is hungry to prove that they're a lot better than people think they are. And Andy's going to run shifts and motions and things like that. And Patrick's going to roll out and boot and get rid of the ball quickly and do things to minimize the effectiveness of the Tampa Bay rush. You're not going to eliminate it. They're going to get to him. But you know who else got to him? Nick Bosa in the Super Bowl last year. Only one sack, but he hit Patrick a lot. Strutting around doing his best Tom Hardy impersonation, trying to look phony tough. Look at the faces of the, the San Francisco defense. When, when Kansas City came within one score late in the game, they looked shell-shocked. They looked like they couldn't believe what was happening. They thought they had this in the bag when it was 20-10. to 10. Yeah, it was 20-10 to 10 with 3.25 to go in the third quarter. And Kansas City's defense made like Gandalf in Lord of the Rings and said, for the rest of the game, you shall not pass. You shall not score in this football game. That's it. You got 20. You're done. The whole fourth quarter... In three minutes and 25 seconds of the third quarter, they shut down one of the most effective offenses in the NFC that season. Everybody's talking about Willie Nelly, about, oh, well, you're not really sure about Jimmy Garoppolo. Jimmy Garoppolo had him in the Super Bowl a year ago. And everyone's talking about him like he's trash now. Ask the Saints if he was trash when they went down to New Orleans and he went blow for blow with Drew Brees and took him out. The dude can play football. Patrick's just another level. Just another, just a different cat. And I love that he's our cat. Don't sleep on your Chiefs, folks. Just want to make sure there's no notes I'm forgetting. Um, oh, little things like, first of all, the injury, obviously, to Patrick last year. We went through it again this year with Cleveland. It was very reminiscent of that, oh, what's this going to be now? Uh-oh, shades of Denver all over again. Patrick shirt, what's going on? You know what happens in those moments? Just like when we fall behind late in the game and our offense wakes up and is like, wait a minute, all right, turn it on. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. When those moments happen and we have a fallback offensively, the defense is like, all right, knuckle up. Knuckle up. They don't get anything. No more. No more yardage. No more points. We need this win. We're getting this win right now. We were 6-4 and four when we lost to Tennessee. Sometimes things happen for a reason. If we had won that game, we would have been behind the Saints in the seating for the waiver wire, and we wouldn't have gotten Terrell Suggs. Terrell Suggs made a difference. Don't kid yourself. Last year. This season, we've had guys come in and out. We've had guys have moments where they'd leave the field. We gave other guys a chance to show that they can play and prove to themselves 
Forget about the world. Prove to themselves that I can hang on this field. You're going to watch a lot of guys hanging on that field on Sunday. Play the best football of their lives. And you're going to see guys that are hungry, like Daryl Williams, like Alex Okafor, like Juan Thornhill, who were all with the team last year, but injured and couldn't get out there on the field. We've got another one in Willie Gay who's primed for next season to go through that same thing. He's going to have to watch his team go out there and battle. Hopefully win. I know I could have been on that field. But for the sake of injury, he wasn't. These guys weren't. And if you saw them last week, they were popping like Orville Redenbacher against the Buffalo Bills. I expect to see a lot of the same this coming Super Bowl against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Check me out on Chiefs Chat on Wednesday night. I'll be on with Hong Forrest at 8 p.m.-ish on across social media. Facebook Gaming, Twitch. YouTube, be live streaming for a couple hours. We usually go about two or three hours now. It's been uh, usually an hour long show, but people get in there and start asking questions. It's a lot of fun. So come check us out. I'll be back again next week with another Kingdom Corner preceding the Super Bowl, where I and you and all of Chiefs Kingdom hope to see our Chiefs go back to back, be the first team to do it in almost 17 years. I'm here for it. Go Chiefs. Thanks for watching this video from the team at RGR Football. Click these videos to see more and subscribe to RGR Football.